The skies have been weeping as copiously this morning as many of this crowd at Ibrooks will admit, beat watching the side tumble out of the UEFA Cup. But traditional rivalry with the other side of the city stiffens resolve, and there's a big crowd again to see if Rangers can stem off an unprecedented four defeats in a row. Prominent names are absent though. Craig Moore and Giovanni Van Bronckhorst are suspended. Darius Adamczyk injured. Into the side comes Scott Wilson with Tony Bidmar slotting in probably on the right side of defence. And although he's never in his entire career attempted to portray the image of Superman, everybody at Ibrox is hoping that the honest endeavour of Billy Dodds here, making his debut, will produce silver linings on a leadenly grey day. Kamara, Kevin won a league game since the 19th of September, and in this league, that can't spell crisis, but he did come back from two down against Hearts in the last game, which means they play the same personnel, not surprisingly, with one notable exception. The new signing, Andy Smith, prolific goal scorer previously with Airdrie, and of course, Dunfermline. Referee today, John Roboto. The other dimension between these two teams, and I think it may be a significant factor, is that Kamarnik haven't played for a couple of weeks. Well, Rangers came through that now infamous game, if you like to put it from that point of view, from their point of view, uh, the other day in Germany. Extra time, penalties, which does drain. And we'll see what kind of effect that has on the players. Billy Dodge getting his first touch of the ball as a Rangers player. Played out there, touched away. Now McCann. Almost getting it through to Dodge. McCann very hard in. And again. And he's fouled free kick. Alberts. Beautifully judged pass. Vidmar picks it up. Tries to go to the outside. Taken on by Mitchell. Slip forward there by Ian Durant. Loose in midfield though. Reyna. Wallace. That was very hard. That's a superb pass. McCann. Acres of space. Away he goes. Inside his player to Alberts. Now to McCann, he's got to sweep it across, and he does. And Wallace almost gets in there. Hooked away, though. Good play by Rangers on the left-hand side. Here's Alberts. There's Newman. Can he get that ball? He gets it to the goal line, and he wins the corner kick. Good interception there as uh, the Frenchman, Tristo Cocard, read the danger. It's driven in low this time, very hard, here's Radar, drives it in low, that's a very good save, Colin Belton. Absolutely no room or margin for error in this one. Good shot though, Reyna keeping the ball down, which uh, when defenders are advancing on you is unusual. Reyna went with them partially. Still going in for it, and Thomas Meyer didn't need to move for that. Good burst, they went all over 30, 40 yards with the ball there before getting into that shooting position, but ending rather aimlessly. Touched on by Ferguson, and both uh, Rangers frontmen are being watched very closely. There's Dodge. Nice ball to Wallace. Wallace going through. Well, the referee says no free kick. Wallace certainly going down. I think might have just been a, a gentle little touch, made worse by his pace. Great play by Albert. And he's going to let fly it go. Great control in midfield, but I think as it left his foot despite the skill he showed there when it left his foot it was always going wide here's Ferguson now McCann that's a lovely ball now Wallace one and one he's done it and it goes misses it again well 
so often this season, Wall has been, has been put in this situation, both in domestic and European football, and has been found wanting. Last season, 27 times he scored, some of them like that. He hardly ever missed in a situation. That is, I think, a reflection of the way things have gone for him this time. Well, there has been no sustained attacking by Kilmarnock in this game. That's a good tackle by Newman. Artel Betts. Driving forward and brought down. I think accidentally he got something in his eye. I, it may have been a hand or an elbow. I think it was, in fact, uh, as he hit the ground, maybe a stud in the face, purely accidentally. Here we are again, barge there. It's like the dodge cars there for a moment. Yeah, I think it might have been knee that caused that. Alberts, that's a better ball. Here's McCann with it, sending it in there. There's Billy Dodd gets a touch and just over. Keep it right in there. A typical burst into the penalty area by Billy Dodds, and he wasn't far away. I think the attendance of the defender just put him off, and that's what he's paid to do, of course. Barbarossa <laughs> missing out, Koka coming forward. Very, very tricky looking player, and that was a poor effort there as well. Tries to get down on it. He tried to play it back to the goalkeeper. And I think uh, the referee has gone over wood with Andy Smith after this. Down went the goalkeeper. And I must say, that was a display of nerves again in that Rangers defence. I think uh, this man there must be annoyed about the, the lack of communication at times. Well, Bobby Williamson... A great season last season, but uh, second bottom of the league, if he won't like that. He's going to ask his men to perspire, get more involved. Half in you. Oh, that's not nearly as nippy as Mitchell was there. Comes Amoruso, look at this. Mitchell in with a chance and a great save by Meyer. How on earth did he go right through the middle? Where was Rangers central defence? And Mitchell, perhaps not as straightforward a chance as Rod Wallace had at the other end, but nevertheless, Ali Mitchell has put chances like that away before, no, most notably against Rangers a couple of seasons ago, which cost Ivrups the championship. Well, card tackled by Alberts. Hold the pair of them. I don't think they were uh, ex exchanging Christmas pleasantries. Amoroso. And the halftime was some goals. Uh, I think there's uh, an air of discontent around Ibrooks at the moment in the stands as they come off after seeing chances much like Rod Wallace's. I mean, once upon a time, he used to put them away with alacrity and it's not coming off for him. And then there's Billy Dodge desperately trying to get into this game. Typical Dodge surge into the box, put off on a defender. It was almost there. And then at the other end, big gap of in the defence. Ali Mitchell, I think, enjoys scoring against Rangers at Hydrox as he's done previously. Getting there, and it all turned out to be negative. So, let have time. No scoring. <laughs> No changes made at halftime by either side, and you get the impression that Bobby Williamson knows better than anybody else, both uh, in terms of being manager of Kilmarnock and a player here at Ibris for Rangers, that if he gets his side playing the way it has been doing in the first half, that frustration and impatience will mount. I think it will spread through the stadium like the flu, and that will be to his advantage. So, the onus 
quite sure he realizes on Rangers, especially in the first 20 minutes of this half. Oh, that's slack, Andy Smith. Can he take it on? The two Rangers defenders are going with them, and again, Amoruso putting his side in jeopardy with that rather lazy looping pass. And he was spent running out of pace there. Amoruso redeeming himself. Albert. There's once again deprived. Newman. Who just touched down by chest. Well, when that ball was played in there, the referee looking very closely at the player, so he was right on top of it. Wilson did get his set to it. Collision by two players, and away goes Newman. McCann on the outside. Looking towards Newman. Gets that ball across. Wallace is there. Fedmar. Free kick. In a very interesting place indeed. Fedmar brought down. Ian Durant. Looking at that decision with a fair amount of disdain. So, free kick to Rangers. Amoruso is in the middle of that defensive wall, and I think he's suggesting it should be somewhat further back. Woo! Referee trying to placate everybody. Bit of hesitation, and it's it! Oh! Beautifully struck by Albert! Rangers go winner! And the little boy paid off. There was that initial hesitation, and then he slotted it away. So, 15 minutes, almost 15 minutes into this half, and the big German rescues him again. Little push to the side, now normally he would send away to the right hand side of the goalkeeper as he did recently against him choosing the other corner perhaps a more difficult one it had to be beautifully judged and it was and that certainly relieves the pressure for Rangers I talked about impatience and frustration which can build up when they are, any team is off form and they have a lot of the ball now that has been converted into a 1-0 lead Bats. Here's Newman going after it. Newman with a lovely little ball inside. Now Ferguson with a shot to go. Now that was a much better piece of play by Barry Ferguson from midfield. He has been criticized by me as well as having yet to achieve this ability to come from midfield and hammer in shots like that. Well, he certainly didn't want to concede a goal at that juncture. There's no question about that he felt to be held on a bit more Rangers would have really toiled 15 minutes left Alberts bit of space for Reyna bit ball on the outside again bit obvious and Billy Dodge gets in there Disappointed, it didn't reach the back of the net because once again he got in behind the defense in front of the defender there. Just the wrong angling of the head. Now here's Dodge coming in there, and as I said, the wrong angle. Just it needed something a bit further to his left. And off comes Rod Wallace. McCann again. Ferguson was lying dormant in midfield. Kanchaskas. Reina. 
doing the right thing, simply keeping possession. And there's the shot by Albert. Well, it was straight, but even at that, the goalkeeper seemed to tremble as this thundering shot came in. A lot of swear, but it, so he did well eventually to regain his senses. Pinchowskis. Chelskis and he's run this time. And it goes. Billy Dodge is there. He ball to McCann with a shot and it's just over. Once again, very intelligently laid on by Billy Dodge. Gathers it there, just touches it with the outside of his foot. Yeah, yet again, I think he might have done better than that, you know. Uh, one minute of stoppage time. Another free kick as the Rangers defence get very anxious. And back goes everybody into the box. Perhaps the last effort for Kilmarnock in this game. Laughlin has come up. And away goes Vidmar with it. Put out to Ferguson. Out to Alberts. There's a beautiful ball to Kanchelskis towards McCann, he does over the ball! That would have buried him, once and for all. He simply, when you know, when you're on form as he has been, that even when you give your all, as in this case, it's not going to come off for you. He was falling back all the way, and it still remains 1-0. And there goes the final whistle, well, a very weary looking Rangers team. If that had gone in, that would have been the end conclusively. They played out just a few seconds after that, so it turned out not to be as vital as all that. Only one goal in it, and I'm quite sure the Rangers players, management and, and supporters delighted to see this classical free kick taken by George Albert. Well, against him recently, he put the ball away to the right-hand side of the goalkeeper this time, choosing that narrower angle and he did it to perfection. And I'm sure Dick Advocat wanted simply and basically a winning result today. That is what he's achieved. Rangers won. Come on, Akdil. We're back in the, league, in the league now and back in action. And uh, we won it today 1 0, which we could have scored more goals, but obviously it's not uh, going so well for us. But we won the, the three points, and that's the main thing. Yeah, I thought it was an entertaining match. I would say that. Uh, come to any of losing narrowly. But, uh, I don't think there's a lot separating the teams apart from Albert's uh, win the free kick. The, the first 50 minutes we get the open chance with Rodney and again if he scored a goal then it's one, one nothing and then Kilmarnock has to come and has to take more risk. But as long as it takes uh, stays 0-0 uh, uh, they can uh, play from their own organisation and they did well. They defended well throughout, it must be disappointing to, to yeah, it was disappointing. It was disappointing to lose a goal no matter what she did, uh, but they'd be able where it was a free kick in the first place. But, uh, when Albert says go that, he says go within his range and you're always concerned that if he has a target it's not going to be much to stop.